Hello dear student, I am Mr. Islam. Today in this video, we are going to discuss the important question of Invasion PhD 2022. Okay, this question from Linear Algebra and we are going to discuss this. Okay, so let's start. So, here a 3 3 orthogonal matrix is given. Okay, there is a 3 3 orthogonal matrix. There is a 3 3 orthogonal matrix. Okay. And also, it means a task force, a task force is int. And important point that it has given determinant is one. Okay, we know for orthogonal matrix, if a is orthogonal, then determinant is either one or minus one. Okay, you can easily tell from here. If a is orthogonal, then a task force, a task force is equal to int a3. Take determinant both sides. If you take determinant both sides, then it gives determinant a, determinant a transpose, okay, and determinant i3. I applying determinant of this side and with this okay so determine, uh, now determine a transpose itself determine a okay so it gives in determine a the whole square equal to i3 means 1 so determine a will be plus minus 1 so if it orthogonal matrix if it, the matrix is orthogonal then determine it will be plus or plus 1 or minus 1 but in this question it is given it is 1 okay so see it is 1 so there is some restriction with this matrix there is some restriction will be occur in this with this matrix Okay, so there are three options given A, B, C. So we are going to check on the one who is a true, who is a false. Okay, this, this is basically true false question. In, in PhD exam, question asks a type of true and false. So it will be true and false type or fill in the blanks. So it is true false type question. So we are going to verify one option, each option one way. Okay, so first, here A is thicker symmetrics. Okay, it is orthogonal and also it is thicker serial matrix. So since A is three cos symmetric okay means a will be like this three cos three matrix okay suppose a1 a1 2 a1 3 so on a3 1 a3 3 okay so a2 1 a2 2 a2 3 so it is three cos symmetric so it is obvious it is not is three i okay i name it lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 say okay now it, it may be to the all i am loop Lambda, 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 three of the matrix A are real. Okay, it may be true because if it I n matrix, if it I n I three, then all I will are one on one on one. Okay, then all are real. But it may be happen that that all lambda, lambda, lambda three may not real. May be some complex because if you choose the matrix this one zero zero uh, one zero minus one zero, you can easily check it is orthogonal matrix A transpose gives int i3 and a transpose a gives int so it is orthogonal matrix okay but you can you can check it carries will be like this if you check it carries phi a x this will be the broad matrix so carries will be itself is minus 1 and gives x square plus 1 okay so it is angular 1 plus minus i means angular 1 i minus i so it is complex angular it is orthogonal matrix but it has complex i am blue. okay so it is not true that all elements are real okay maybe some complex maybe some complex or maybe some complex entry okay so now it is given h real matrix okay and determine h1 so for our assumption i am questioning this case the theory I am assuming I am assuming that lambda one is real and remaining lambda two um, lambda three are complex. Okay, I am assuming this case. This may be case one. Okay, there is another case also. Maybe all real. Okay. So I am choosing the worst case. Is the so worst case? Okay. If all real, then it is trivial case. But it is maybe even that some may be complex. So I am assuming lambda one is real and remaining two are complex. Okay. So, if lambda is real, now it is orthogonal matrix. A matrix is orthogonal. So, suppose lambda be an arbitrary eigen value, arbitrary eigen value of the matrix A. Okay. Let lambda be an arbitrary eigen value of the matrix A. So, there is by every definition, there is x non zero. This vector is not zero. There is x non zero vector such that a x equal to lambda is. Okay. This vector must be non zero. If it is zero, then it is trivial satisfied. And the neighbor lambda is undefined so x must be non-zero okay now take transpose both side x transpose this gives lambda x transpose okay so this gives x this gives x transpose a transpose this gives lambda transpose is lambda itself 
सो x ट्रांसपोज लैम्डा you can say lambda x transpose okay because it's scalar so it transpose will be itself this is scalar so it transpose will be lambda itself now if you post multiplying by i'm post multiplying by x in both side so it gives lambda x transpose x okay now x transpose common it is true in matrix so it transpose a and outside is x so lambda now x is lambda x okay you can name it one you can name it one from one you can say x is lambda x since x is lambda x so put x equal to lambda x here so it gives lambda x square x transpose x okay, by one now now a transpose h int okay since h orthonormal is so a transpose a a transpose int okay this given in the question question so it has a a transpose int so you it put a transpose is int so if in, if you put is int so it is remain x transpose x itself now it is here lambda square x transpose x so take right side so it gives lambda square x transpose x now x is non zero vector okay x is non zero vector so this term x transpose this real number should be non zero this is real number because it is x transpose means 3 cross x transpose so it is 1 cross 3 vector and 3 cosine vector this gives 1 cross 1 so it is a real number okay so it will be also non zero if x non zero vector okay suppose x will be like this x1 x2 x3 okay x1 x2 x3. and then x transpose x will be x transpose x it transpose so x1 x2 x3 with multiplied x1 x2 x3 so this gives x1 square x2 square and x3 square okay if it is zero then it imply square sum is zero it imply all into zero right x2 x2 x3 is the only and if it is all zero then imply x is zero vector zero vector okay zero vector but x is non zero it is given that uh, here uh, x is non zero right x is non zero the x is non zero so it gives a contradiction it give a contradiction so x transpose s this is non zero so since it is non zero but the product is zero so from here you can say lambda square minus 1 would be zero so from here say lambda square minus 1 would be zero so lambda will be lambda square will be 1 so you can say mod lambda equal to 1 or you can say lambda equal to plus minus 1 if lambda is real okay if lambda is real so lambda will be either if lambda is real then either plus one or minus one if lambda is either plus one or minus one okay so i prove that if h orthonormal matrix and it i lambda is real then it is either one or minus one okay so using the idea we can conclude easily this question solution okay so what i will conclude my conclusion is that if lambda is a real number and its eigenvalue of a 3 cos 3 orthogonal orthogonal matrix a okay means a transpose a a transpose equal to i3 if lambda is a real number it is also an eigen value of an orthogonal matrix a then it imply lambda is either one or minus one if real number then either is one or minus one so i assume the lambda one is real so it would be either choice of it either one or minus one okay two possibility either one or minus one now assume it minus one okay assume lambda one is minus one okay for second one means i'm assuming if lambda and is let lambda is minus one um, lambda two lambda three has complex number so i need it a plus ib first and so now since three of them takes so first made first i am real number and next are two will be complex conjugate okay because complex conjugate complex root are over pairs pairs okay if it a plus ib then another root should be a minus ib okay because complex root are over pair pairsly okay so for a b a real number a b a real number right now it is also on condition is given in the question then determine a h was determine h1 it's an important question important condition it is given that determine h1 now if you determine h1 
so now determinant a is one okay so uh, we know determinant a is nothing but the part of i value so it will be part of lambda lambda 2 lambda 3 okay equal to 1 now lambda 1 is minus 1 lambda 2 is a plus i b and it is a minus i b is 1 so it gives a square plus b square equal to minus 1 okay is it possible a square plus b square equal to minus 1 so it gives a, a square plus b square equal to minus 1 is not possible okay because we all know if a is real number b is real number then it is sum then sum a square plus b square is always get a zero okay now apply the condition a square plus b square in this case minus one it is saying that minus one so minus one will get a zero okay this is not correct this is incorrect okay this is condition so since incorrect so lambda is not lambda never be minus one so what is the possibility of lambda so possibility of lambda will be so i can say possibility of lambda will be one okay this is lambda is one and it is i n value of the matrix a the thickness of the matrix a so so i can say lambda is one is an i n value of the thickness of the matrix okay so first condition <coughs> first given is a equal to one it means one i n value so it is correct so it is true so it is true okay now <coughs> if all i n values a are real then a is i n matrix okay we are going to verify this see from now we have conclude that this option b for now we have conclude that it is i value 1 okay i am assuming that uh, an another i value are of the form a plus ib and another is a minus ib okay i have assumed this these are i value of the matrix a okay where a b are for some for some a b belongs to real number now if it says that all i are real it's saying it says that all angles of the matrix A is real. Since all angles are of the matrix are real, so B must be zero. Okay. If it all angle of the matrix A and all angle is saying all angles are real, it is real, but it is not real, not real. But so if, if it is real, then it we must have B equal to zero. Okay. So B have zero. Since all angles are real. According to option B, if all angles of the matrix are real, so we have must must true is root that a b should be zero b should be zero okay b should be zero then then all answers are real okay then b is zero so i values of r becomes one a a okay these are will be then i n value of the matrix a now it is the i if is the all i n value of the matrix a then determine a will be nothing but part of this i n value a a a square now it is given that a square is one okay given the given that determinant is one so a square should be one is given that in causing that determinant is one okay since so determinant is one so a square will be one now a square a will be equal to one from here you can say then a equal to plus minus one so choice of a will be either plus one or minus one now two so we, we can from here we can get two matrix okay according to choice of a if it h1 and h minus 1 okay so if it h1 then you can take this matrix you can take this matrix all i angles are 1 first one, 1 and the remaining are also a okay so 1 1 1 and other are 0 okay so i matrix if a is minus 1 so you can take this matrix first entry is 1 first uh, angle is 1 and then minus one minus one okay this matrix this is this is three of the matrix and it is, it is, you can easily verify this is the matrix okay so if a is minus one then all angles are real but a is not int okay so if, if you choose a equal to minus one if you choose a equal to minus one in this case if, if you choose a equal to minus one okay then you will left will be left with this matrix 1 0 0 minus 1 0 0 0 minus 1 okay and this is automatic a transpose gives int okay you can easily check if you transpose it 1 minus 1 minus 1 it is 0 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 so this is an int matrix similarly a transpose a will be int okay so this is automatic and it's all i values are 1 minus 1 minus 1 okay 
which are all real all are real angle okay this matrix is automatic and also it's all angles are real okay but it is not identity this matrix is not equal to i3 okay because it has minus one or minus one okay so option b is incorrect so option b is not correct so option b is false now there is a complex inverted matrix such as p in p inverse is diagonal okay it is saying that there is a complex inverted matrix p such as p in is diagonal means it says that matrix a is diagonal okay but you know this is eastern result you know it's eastern result is true okay we know if if it equals three real matrix orthogonal matrix equals three real orthogonal matrix so a is three cos three real an orthogonal matrix orthogonal matrix okay so it is true that a is diagonal okay diagonal over c so there is p non slim matrix p zero non zero means there is p non slim matrix we get a p non slim matrix as a p p inverse a p will be diagonal Diagonal and diagonal and diagonal entry of this matrix will be the iron rule of the matrix A. Okay, diagonal entry of this matrix will be the nothing but the iron rule of the matrix A. Okay, so option C is true. It's true. True option. Okay. So in so option C is correct option is true. B is false. So option A is true. Option B is false. Option C is true. Okay, is the answer. You can also conclude like this if if a is orthogonal matrix you can also control like like this uh, how is diagonality if a is thick of matrix okay then uh, it is also also orthogonal a transpose a transpose equal to i3 okay automatic then it i and blue are modulus one okay modulus one. so if lambda is real then lambda is either one or minus one okay but it may be Complex also lambda may be of the form a plus i b also okay but if it lambda is the form a plus i b then it will be must have is modulus equal to one so a square plus b square will be one okay. this will be maintained okay so in this case the minimal polynomial m x of the matrix a will be of the form either x minus one okay or the form x plus one okay or the form x minus one or x plus one or the form if it's complex angle rule, if it's real angle rule, the minimal form of the form like this, okay. But if it's complex angle rule, the minimal form of the form may be like this x square plus say, lambda square or x plus one x square plus, uh, so you can say mu square, okay. For lambda mu are real number, okay. Since if, if, if minimal form is this, then a is identity matrix, then diagonal, minimal form is this, then a is equal to minus i, then diagonal. If minimal form is automatic, this, then minimal form is a minimal form is nothing but the product of distinct linear factor, okay. This is the product of distinct linear factor, so then a is also diagonal. But if minimal form is this, then a is three is diagonal, then diagonal. If minimal form is this, then a is three is diagonal, then it is also diagonal. So in any case, you can say. A is complex matrix or real matrix. If it is orthogonal matrix, then it is diagonal matrix. It is also diagonal over C. Okay, it is diagonal over C. This is the explanation. So, hope you understand this question. In the upcoming video, we will discuss more questions of NVSM. Okay, I think there are 34 questions. We will discuss one by one question. I have started today. In the first question will be Angela, and after that, we will discuss one by one. Okay, so thank you very much. Subscribe my channel and follow my channel. So, Thank you. Hope you understand this solution. Okay. This question card answer are A and B. And B is not correct. B is incorrect. Okay. It's true. It is false. It is true. Okay. So, thank you.